Good day guys and girls, I'm Bayman Commander. welcome back to the Let's Play of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. To be honest, this was a few hours later than uh, recorded after uh, the previous part, so. Okay, previously uh, we were... Actually, I messed up. Uh, I think I over-recorded a part, that's why I'm doing this part all over again. So, previously, we were just gonna go to the, to a room to be, to fetch some pyreflies, I think that was, it, it's called, by Professor Snape after a session in potions class. And now we are going down here in the dungeon. I think I should be floating, no, I'm not floating in there. Okay, that's the first jelly bean. Oh, Bertie Boss, epic flavor bean. That we shall collect. In this, ah, I hear, I hear Harry, laughing. It's me, Raymond. Ah, it's Tell you it's again. I hear her down there yowling. Really? Okay. Now, to be clear, this thing right here, you can just ignore him. You can just ignore him. You can not even bother doing this. But for the sake of, you know, helping to guide out people who actually want to do this, in case you haven't finished this game already, this has been like a decade or so. We shall go on and do this thing. So, eventually his kitten is going to pop out in any of these boxes. And presumably, most likely, the kitten is going to pop out in the last box. Either the things that are going to pop out here are Bertibas every flavor bean, or mice die. Alright. Uh, fully loaded knockback jinx, flipendo knockback jinx can just incapacitate any of the mice or mouse. If you want to be, uh, die! I am a rodent exterminator. If you want to kill these things, just target them. Ah, not mice! Die! Harry Potter does not like mice. And tada! Holy shit, that thing is tiny. Wow, when he said kitten, he's not kidding. He's not kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna go kill myself now. I'm, I'm, seriously. But this thing is tiny. Jesus, it's a wonder you, you, you precious little thing. You, It's a wonder you survived that fall down here. Good lord. Your owner is a dick. You know, letting you fall off the, in a well like that. He should just, Peter should just come up to his house and arrest him. You don't deserve an owner like him. Come here, come here, kitty. Come here. You know what? You should stay with me. You should stay with me. I'm gonna take care of you. We can be friends forever. You can replace Hedwig. He's always off somewhere, you know. He's always in a cage. But you, you can be free. You and I are gonna rule the Dursley house together. Where are you at? Okay, there you go. Oh, man. You are such a th tiny, precious thing, you. Where you at? Okay, there you go. You know, I could step on you and crack every single bone in your body, but I won't do that because I'm not reckless like your owner. I'm gonna call you Finn. As in P H I N N. That's a precious spelling right there. I don't want you to leave. But I must do this for the good of the, the world. Be brave, Finn! Fuck you! I don't need your pity. I don't need it. But it's still one more thing to add to the collectibles list. Pull you, Mega. Let's go do that. Alright, let's check who this guy is. Edgar Strulga. Strulga. Almost a century, this guy. The fuck is a sneakoscope? I pressed square. I don't know why, but what the hell is a sneakoscope? Did the was it already was it already mentioned in the original mythology of the of the series? As in, aside from this game, was it ever mentioned? Okay, it's not locked. So, if you did skip that thing, you can actually go back. So that's a good thing. All right, cauldron room, and there's another room, locked. Ugh, snoring. Uh, that thing is gonna be a, tr a, a 
traumatizing, traumatizing experience for anyone. All right, so we have two doors. Okay, three doors actually. One is up there. We can't reach that because our way of getting there is a little bit um, off. Because these three platforms are off and we have to set them back up. And the problem with that is we have to start initially use this lever. As per Gaming Instinct, we should always pull down any lever that we see within the immediate radius of our entrance in the room. And that unlocks a certain room and we give it 5 points to Gryffindor. To the courtroom room. Okay. Now this room will want you to platform Harry Potter style. Okay. To make it a bit easier on yourselves, you can target the cauldrons and make them stop by flippendoing the hell out of them. Or just simply flippendoing like a flick of the wrist. No, it's much easier if it's nearer, but there you go. Or you can just go and do this the manly way and just do it. Oh! I, oh, I didn't drown. This is not an insta-kill, folks. Oh! That's when I say it's not an insta-kill. Oh, God! Why am I making this hard for myself? There we go. Ah, okay. We are gonna make this easier for ourselves. Stay. Stay. Stay! No, really, stay. There you go. I swear to God, on my first try at this... On the other recording that I had, I went through this flawlessly. Okay, you can demonstrate how easy this thing is. You can just target it so that you can immediately head straight at it. And there you go. And we're gonna collect. We're gonna press, uh, press square to use the lever. And then we shall see the platform rise into the air and unlock the door. The other door that we should be going to. Another five points to Gryffindor. Fantastic. Okay, now we have to make our way back. Good thing it's a lot easier if you do if you do not ignore the failures that I had just let you guys experience. But let's just ignore that it happened. Let's just go with the the notion that I just did that flawlessly. Now we're gonna go into this other room or this evidence snoring. Alright, so as you can see, this room contains a troll, a very big troll in fact. And that thing over there inside the cage is our objective. Actually we have two objectives here. One is to pull that lever and two is get that um, thing over there. So, before that, we're gonna go over here, grab this. So we're just gonna step back here first for, for a second I'm gonna, and demonstrate what would happen if we, um, what would happen if we can wake up this thing. We can flip into it, and it would instantly just stand up. And the soundtrack goes all wobbly and shit. When I say wobbly, I mean it just tries to terrify you. Yo, set the atmosphere. So our objective here is to lift the little cage over here. And levitate it to the safe spot. Okay, so that we have done that successfully. Now we're just gonna use this lever right here. Hopefully he doesn't wake up. Because I think I had experiences back then where the lever would cause him to wake up. Maybe it's because it's too loud, maybe not. Or I don't know, I'm just maybe hallucinating. Alright. He did not wake up. I got 25 points for Gryffindor. Well, well earned. It should just be Harry Potter points. I'm the only one getting them. But anyway, the story is called Harry Potter. Can't have a game that's not centered around him. To the Firefly Room. We have unlocked the door, and now we shall get to the. Hey, the door lied to me. This is not the Firefly Room. This is this does not look like a Firefly Room at all. 
Looks like more trolls. Ugh. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm only here holding this little thing in my hand. And you just go to your corner. Sneeze. Gazoon tight. Go to hell. <laughs> I got 24, 23 going on 24. Bertie Bots. Every flavor bean. Catch. Okay, don't catch. Be a jerk. Alright. We'll play that game. I'm playing that game right now. Step back. Back, I say. And eat. Defeat. Gale Kim. Hell yeah. And more points for Gryffindor. 24 Bertie Bot Beans. And here we go. To the Firefly Room. To the Firefly Room we shall go. Okay, now this looks like a Firefly Room. You know, those things don't look like fireflies at all. It looks like the... Is this a door? This looks like... This This should look like a door. Really, these things don't look like... um. Fireflies actually it looks like more of those atoms in that one episode of Jimmy Neutron. Remember that? That episode where um, he goes to college? Yeah. It's kind of like that. Those little things that bounce off their walls and could instantly disintegrate something. Oh, really? Alright. Here's your, here's your damn fireflies. Ungrateful bastard. You're welcome. Thank you for caring, you asshat. Really, that guy doesn't even know the word grateful. Or a simple thank you would suffice, you know? Yeah, you better lock your door, Snape. I'm coming in there. I'm coming in there, whether you like it or not. Anyway. Already with another class. I don't like the looks of that. So we're gonna save our game first. Because I don't want to repeat that entire experience again. Excuse me, guys. We have to walk all the way over here. Maybe this is, this is why there's another save file game here. Save file book. Just like meters ahead of the other one in that other room. It's okay. So I think, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening, man? What's happening? We're gonna go over here. We're gonna go to class again. Potions class we just were in there like 15 minutes ago. We just come back from the depths of the dungeon and now we have to go to another one. Great. Now we have to go to P -P -P Professor Qu Quirrell. I have no clue what is happening. I'm gonna get that. No! Oh wow, you had to really unravel all my plans, did you? Yeah, laugh it all up, laughing boy. Laugh it all up. I keep laughing. You keep laughing. No one laughs at Beta Manic Command and gets away with it. Align books! For it is I, Beta Manic Command, who, con who calls out the power books. I know, I'm running out of time. Come on. Before I run out. Okay. There's a safe zone right here. Did the other thing fall? Ah, it doesn't matter. Barely matters anyway. Oop. Okay, another room. Okay, I think this is the last one. This is the last one, I think. Okay, we're gonna just see if we can get the beans out of the way. Okay, good thing this one fell off. Fell off. I don't know what I'm thinking, man. Man, these books, man, are getting on my nerves. Can I get over there without uh, the help of the books? Okay, I think I can. I think these things don't run out. Oh, get, get that. Come on, books. A line for Harry Potter. Oh, really, seriously. A line for Harry Potter. A line for Harry Potter. For it is I, the master of all magic. Oh, seriously, do. Please do. You son of a bitch. You are gonna give me out of time. Gonna get me late for class. I know Professor Quirrell. These guys are assholes. 
There you go. Thank you for having a semblance of conscience. Welcome, young Mr. Potter. P -p 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 Potter. Defense against dark arts. You're just in time. Barely in time, I know. Class. Class. I know. It's always me. Vadimilius. Eh. Oh dear. Come on, Professor Quirrell. I am Harry Potter, the greatest wizard who has ever lived. It's in the name, the boy who lived. It's one word away from the greatest. Oh yeah, for sure it is. Take your word for it. That was good. You should really that comment like that, Professor Quirrell. You're underestimating the power of Harry Potter. If you underestimate Potter, well, you'll just have to bow down. Ah! That tricked me! That is not fair at all. Of course I'm gonna keep trying. You can't fail me for just failing to push a damn button. Ah, yeah, fuck you too. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, dear. Great, fantastic, spectacular even. Just give me my damn grade. There you go, perfect. That's the most mistakes I've ever done in a, in a class. Alright. Of course it's gonna be me and me alone. We're losers, especially if you're Harry Potter. Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Okay, gotta step into this very closely. Bam! Ah! Oh! Okay, Harry, what are you doing? You're tripping over yourself, man. Only five points. Are you kidding me? Wow, that leads out outside immediately. Where were you? I think I've heard so. What object? Snip sloth brain? Why do you need my help anyway? You're the smart girl. And she just instantly disappeared. Unless she walked into that other hallway. Hot damn she did. She's gonna be so screwed. Okay, why do we need to go to the upper hall upper floors? Anyway, I got another question. That Verdemilia spell. That Verdemilia spell. Where in the world, aside from this game, was it even used? I don't think the spell where they like the tip of their wands was called anything. Or if they were to call it something, I was not one of those who are aware of such a thing. So I just stay saved my game. It's still locked. We can't go to the upper floors because this thing is damn locked. But there is another solution to that. We have to go to the... We're gonna ignore Fred and George over here. I think we're supposed to go to the middle doorway. Aha! So, what's, it, what's this over here? Ah! Doors! Well, here's another save spot if you guys want it. I'm just gonna collect. Ooh. Okay, actually, we're gonna have to end it right here, folks. We're gonna have to end the video right here. Although, someone tell me about the Verdimilia spell. Is it was it used in the movies and the books aside, and anywhere else aside from this game? Because I am wondering right now. Anyway, we're gonna save our game. We're gonna save over that little save spot we already had used earlier, just like five minutes ago or five seconds actually. That's to be. Um, correct. Anyway, this is where we use a Verdimilia spell. Practice makes perfect. But anyway, this is gonna be the end of part six. If I am to assume correctly that I have labeled this part correctly, or am I have I thought of it correctly? So, 
Until the next part of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, I'm paying my command. And I thank you for viewing this part, this recent part. But anyways, I have to update at another time. Until then, stay groovy folks. Ciao.